Greetings PC friends! Today I'm going to introduce you to one of the best RPGs ever made. It's an older one, but speaking as a longtime fan, age hasn't slowed it down a bit. Atlas's Persona 4 makes a surprising and wholly welcome debut on the PC, bringing this phenomenal fan-favorite entry in the Shin Megami Tensei spin-off series to a larger audience. No longer a PlayStation Vita exclusive, I'm really happy that more and more people now have the chance to play one of the best games to come out of 2008. Persona 4 Golden is a delightfully unconventional role-playing game that eschews traditional gameplay. Also, the adventure occurs in a present-day version of our world, so instead of traveling across a fantasy realm to defeat a big bad boss, you'll wade through the tumultuous, hormonal seas of adolescence. With game mechanics that challenge the player from start to finish and a fantastic cast of memorable characters, there is absolutely no excuse to miss out on what has become Atlas's finest work. Persona 4 Golden doesn't require previous experience with other Persona games, or the mainline Shin Megami Tensei series. The only threads that connects them is a methodical combat system and an emphasis on social encounters, so there's no need to fear missing out. Persona 4 Golden is all about being a teenager blessed with an extraordinary power to fight back against a growing supernatural evil. The player protagonist and his friends take it upon themselves to solve a bizarre murder mystery while at the same time maintaining their social and academic obligations as high school students. Taking place in the sleepy, rural town of Inaba, the player protagonist is sent to live with his uncle and attend a new school while his parents work abroad for the year. His arrival to the sleepy burg coincides with a scandalous affair between a government official and a newswoman that escalates to accusations of murder after the woman is found dead, her body hanging unnaturally from an antenna. When the next victim is a student at the high school, our hero and his growing circle of friends launch their own investigation into the murders and their connection with the local legend. Persona 4 is a game in two parts, one part dating sim and one part dungeon crawl. By day, you're expected to handle everything that a typical high schooler is responsible for, like joining school clubs, answering pop quizzes, studying for midterms, going on class trips, and making new friendships along the way. Outside of school, part-time jobs serve as a great resource for spending money and personal growth. Taking part in activities and spending time with people influences the main character's social qualities that can open up special engagements, make tests easier, and allow you to make bold dialogue choices. Daily life is strictly controlled by an in-game schedule, with school running Monday through Saturday, but because the calendar is modeled after Japan's, there is occasional time off for holidays, golden week, and best of all, summer vacation. Spending time with people establishes and cultivates social links. Party members and NPCs are divided among the different aspects of the tarot, and by spending time with them and listening to their woes, the bonds between the two characters will grow. Social links add dimension to the people whose lives the protagonist comes in contact with and learns their unique personal flaws. Peer pressure, personal traumas, and a lack of self-confidence are concerns that prevent these people from taking charge of their lives, and maxing out their social link rank empowers them to overcome various emotional hurdles. There's more to the social link system than just making others feel better about themselves. Taking the time to help others has a direct connection to the monsters that fight alongside you inside the Midnight Channel. The Midnight Channel is an alternate dimension that is accessed by passing through television screens. On the other side lies a shifting world that serves as the serial killer's method of murder. The Midnight Channel's multi-level dungeons change shape to match the personality of the victim, offering a measure of insight into their personal struggles. Dungeons are also filled with all kinds of monsters and mid-bosses trying to stop the party from reaching the final boss area. The Midnight Channel is where all of the fighting takes place, using the Shin Megami Tensei classic fighting mechanic of targeting elemental weaknesses. Persona 4 favors efficiency through judicial and experimental combat choices. Every monster encountered in a dungeon has one or more weaknesses to elemental magic like fire, ice, wind, holy, etc. Experimentation is a key element of battle because you won't know what a creature is weak against during the first encounter. Attacking an enemy with their weaknesses creates a knockdown effect, leaving them open for a free follow-up. This is especially thrilling against large groups because knocking them all down lets the party perform an all-out attack that can wipe out lesser enemies or deliver a devastating blow to bosses. This combat system goes both ways, and enemies will try to exploit the party's weaknesses to gain extra turns. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. Assisting the party in their dungeon raids are collectible monsters called Personas. 
Although party members are locked to a single persona, the protagonist can carry several of them at once, switching between them on the fly during encounters. Modeled after figures from numerous world religions, personas have their own abilities that grow using experience gained from battles. Personas are earned from post-battle card games, but to gain the best and most rare creatures, you'll want to stop by the Velvet Room, a sort of pan-dimensional rest stop where personas can be fused together to make new creatures, some of which can only be made using special items found in dungeons. These personas are organized by their alignment with the tarot and are directly affected by your social link ranks. The higher the rank, the bigger experience boost the monsters earn when they're created. Just like school and part-time jobs, the Midnight Channel operates on its own schedule. Keeping track of the weather is an important thing to do in the game because it determines how much time you have to save someone before they're killed. Whenever the news forecasts a period of extended rain, the group has until it stops to pull the victim out from the Midnight Channel or else they die and the game ends. Time management is a huge factor in Persona 4 Golden and it's up to you to plan how you'll take on each day. There will also be instances where you can't go to the Midnight Channel because of various life events like test taking. Furthermore, there will be situations where you might have to leave the Midnight Channel before completing a dungeon, be it because you've run out of healing items or need to grind enemies to level up and get strong enough to take on progressively harder encounters. Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise! I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! I love Persona 4 from top to bottom. The characters are the best I've grown attached to in a long time, and even though they have been given the burden of saving other people's lives, there are still plenty of moments where they're allowed to be teens and enjoy themselves. A school camping trip has hilarious results, an ally unfamiliar with the ways of our world repeatedly gets the group into wacky shenanigans, and there's even room for romance to grow. Instead of porting the PlayStation 2 version of the game, the Golden Edition is similar to the Vita release which contained new social links, an additional ending, more voice work, new animated cutscenes, social activities, customizable difficulty, and the option to speed through text screens. On top of all that, the graphics have been beefed up with higher resolution character textures that deliver a new level of detail, making the character models look much clearer and sharper than it did on the Vita. Granted, some of the landscaping textures don't look as good, but that hardly spoils an already beautiful portrait. Persona 4 Golden survives the transition to PC rather well, with the exception of a terrifying bug I experienced twice during dungeon battles when the screen got stuck on the all-out attack animation. Everything eventually returned to normal, but I won't lie, it was a pretty harrowing half minute. So until a fix is pushed through, save often. Persona 4 is over 10 years old and still manages to feel fresh, exciting, and fun after all this time. The Shin Megami Tensai method of RPG gameplay is timeless and engages far better than any other menu-based combat system. Each battle is a challenge and a contest of endurance that leaves little room for error. Outside the dungeon, the party's adventures in and around town hit all the right notes and feature a number of scenes and situations that are legitimately funny and poignant without slipping into melodrama. Launching Persona 4 Golden on the PC is a very good thing because it appeals to an audience that has yet to be exposed by the unique flavor of Shin Megami Tensei games. Sporting a great cast of wonderful characters, an incredible soundtrack, and a deep story filled with humor, drama, and twists and turns, there is absolutely no sound reason to miss out on this wonderful and spirited video game. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Darkstation gives Persona 4 Golden for the PC five stars. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable. Every day's great at your Junest.